Hello Libra, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I do want to clarify this card with some tarot first before I look into your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy just to see why you're getting this card for your reading for today. Tell me more about this could be the one for Libra. All right, so we have the moon. We have the Ten of Swords, interesting, with the Five of Swords, and then we also have the Two of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, oh no, we have the Wheel of Fortune, hmm, to the Queen of Pentacles, to the King of Pentacles, oh man, to the Ten of Swords, to the Three of Swords. For some, this can definitely represent on and off relationship that you have with, you know, whoever this person is that you either currently find yourself connecting with or were connecting with. Uh, for some of you, you may not even be currently connecting with this person anymore, um, or you might still be connecting with this person. Just keep in mind, we are working with time here, right? And time is fluid, so this can either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Um, and for some of you, you probably already experienced this, but... <sighs> It kind of looks like things are taking a drastic turn here between you um, and whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with, but it's taking a drastic turn for the worst. It's taking a drastic turn here for the worst, unfortunately. Now, I don't really want to go into depths, right, about why this relationship is coming to an end here between you and this person or why it did come to an end because everybody's situation is going to be different. But, dude, this feels like a relationship taking a drastic turn here for the worst between two people. I feel like someone in this relationship has trust issues. That someone could be you. That someone could even be your person. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Okay, so you have the Page of Wands, we got the Nine of Wands, and then we also have the uh, Three of Cups. For some of you, this relationship could have came to an end here between you and this person due to a third party situation, possibly. Not saying that that's the case. Obviously, if there was a third party situation going on here, um, you would have already known about it, or you might be finding out about it. Again, however it resonates but for some that could have definitely been the case where um there was like a third party situation here tell me more about the three of cups we have the six of swords we have the strength card and then we also have the seven of swords yeah for some there could have definitely been a lot of sneaky behavior lies and deception at play um yeah yep 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 yeah. Tell me more about the uh, the moon. Tell me more about the moon. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Hierophant. And then we also have the uh, Three of Wands. Mm, okay. Okay. See, this kind of feels like an overall energy of somebody feeling forced to leave something that means a great deal to them behind and I feel like it does have a lot to do with the simple fact that there could have been definitely a betrayal uh, that transpired here yeah time over the seven of swords we have the knight of cups we also have the king of cups and then we also have the seven of cups you know the first thing that came to my mind is somebody thought that they were slick Somebody thought that they were slick. Somebody could have very well been keeping their options open uh, while dealing with whoever it is that they were dealing with. Yeah, I feel like somebody thought that they were slick. Somebody thought that they were slick. Somebody thought that they could get away with this. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We got the Nine of Swords. And then we also have the Nine of Cups. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. I just kind of, how do I say this? I just kind of feel, you know, this is like a random weird download, um, however it resonates, right? I kind of feel like this person, how do I explain it? I feel like this person was like this close. 
by their significant other at some point throughout the course of their relationship with one another from getting caught like this close from getting caught but I don't feel like they actually did but it kind of looks like this time around they're actually getting caught but I feel like you know this person's significant other was like this close from catching them um in a lie or doing something that they shouldn't have been doing while being involved with them obviously I feel like in the past in the past I'm not I'm not talking about this specific situation here uh, that we're seeing I just kind of feel like in the past this person got this fucking close uh from getting caught lying cheating whatever have you I also kind of feel like this person has been manipulating the person that uh, they've been with. Like, this person comes off to me as, you know, somebody who's a little bit of a good talker. They're very persuasive. They're very convincing, you know, things of that nature. Let's get into it. We're going to focus on you first, then we'll jump over to your person. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also, keep in mind time is fluid. So this could currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. Okay, let's do Let's do this. Let's do this. How does Libra currently view this relationship? So we have the Two of Swords. We have the Temperance card. And then we also have the uh, Hierophant. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. We have the Justice card. We have the Three of Swords. And then we also have the King of swords okay so it kind of looks like you're deciding libra to end things here with this person and it could have a lot to do with you know what i just spoke about um where there could have been like a third party situation um you know transpiring here there could have been definitely but i feel like you're deciding to leave this person behind yeah i feel like you're deciding to leave them behind you know, what's interesting is that you have temperance to the hair of out here. Um, you know, as you're deciding to, to leave this person behind and not continue to involve yourself with this person anymore, I feel like you're being divinely guided towards something else. And it could very well be someone else. Now, keep in mind, you know, again, we're working with time here, okay? Um, for some of you, you might be meeting somebody new shortly after this ending here between you and this person. All right, let's look at this person. <clears throat> How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Three of Cups. We have the Nine of Cups. And then we also have the Five of Swords. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Because I'm getting two different storylines here, but I'm gonna, I'm definitely clarifying this uh, Five of Swords energy. Um, you know, like the first thing that came to my mind is where the hell do you think you're going? Where the hell do you think you're going? Um, you know, what's interesting is the way that you're taking all of this. The way that you're taking all of this. Um, how do I explain? Like, let's, 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 I'm just gonna use this as an example. I'm not saying that this is what happened, right? But let's just say, like, for example, like you caught this person cheating right and you're just like you know what we're done we're done um but you're not you know you're not like flipping out or doing anything wild or anything like that and i kind of feel like they're a little bit taken back by it i feel like they're a little bit taken back by it like you're kind of handling this ending um and this information that you ended up finding out about what your significant other was up to um almost a little bit too fucking well almost a little bit too well to the point where it is kind of like it is kind of taking this person back just a little bit like you're not gonna flip out on me you're not gonna freaking throw a whole vehicle at my head like you're just gonna just break up and just walk away you know i just i feel like you're handling this uh ending here uh with a boatload of uh style and grace and i kind of feel like they're a little bit taken back by it you're, they're a little bit taken back by it, Libra. I'm going to be honest. They're a little bit taken back by it. I also kind of... I also kind of feel like this person refuses to let you go. I also kind of feel like this person refuses to let you go. Because I kind of feel like this person knows. It's only a matter of time. You know, before you meet someone else and 
things of that nature and they don't they don't want that to happen you know they don't want you going off and you know running off into sunset with absolutely anybody else if it's not with them um but it's okay i guess for them to do whatever the hell they were doing you know on the side um okay tell me more about the five of swords We have the Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> we have the Page of Wands. Um, and then we also have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Libra. I, your person's so interesting. Um, I kind of feel like this is them trying to have a conversation with you and work things out for the sake of not wanting to lose you. I just, I just find them to be extremely interesting because here you are, you know, deciding to basically release this person out of your life. I mean, technically speaking, now they are free to do whatever the hell they want, right? You would think that you would be doing them a favor, right? By, you know, releasing them out of, you know, your life and letting them go, but you're, you're not actually doing them a favor. You know, I just kind of feel like you're looking at this entire situation like, okay, well, you know, if you want to, you know mess around with other people boom now you're free to go do whatever the hell you want sir ma'am and i kind of feel like you know that's not what they want it's like this person they they want to continue to have you around they want to continue to have you around but still do whatever the hell they want to do on the side and this is just not how life works this is not how life works okay um, but yeah, I do see them trying to work things out with you. I do. I just really don't see you taking them back. Not after this. How does this person currently feel? We have the Hermit. We have the Knight of Cups. And then we also have the uh, Ten of Wands. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the King of Swords. And then we also have the King of Pentacles. <sighs> you know, you just can't make this shit up. I swear to God, you can't. We have the Hermit to the Knight of Cups to the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Wands to the King of Swords to the King of Pentacles. Let me tell you this, uh, Libra, and don't be shocked and or surprised by it, okay? Um, this person might go as far as to lie to you and say like, oh, oh no, 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 I, I, was, I, I was with my sister. I was with, that's my sister. The sister that you never met, the sister that you never knew existed. Yeah, oh no, that's my sister. That's, I'm sure I wasn't, I wasn't cheating on you, Libra. I was with my sister or I was with my brother. That's my brother, you know, or that's my uh, my cousin, whatever the hell. Like, I, I kind of feel like they're going down that route with you. Um, and it, it is coming from a place of desperation. You know, I don't see this person admitting to whatever it is you're accusing them of. Like if you're accusing them of cheating on you, they might just turn around and tell you like, oh, me, me cheating on you. Oh my God, never. I would never do something like that to you. That's my sister. You know, the sister you never met. Yeah, that's her. Or no, that's my brother. You know, you just never met him just yet because you know, he lives out of town. Like I just kind of feel like this one over here is getting desperate. They're getting desperate. They also come off to me as the type of person that can't even admit uh, when they're wrong. How does Libra feel? Yeah, I feel like your BS detector is going off. Your BS detector is definitely going off here when it comes down to this one over here. Um, the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Cups. You also have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we also have the Seven of Cups. You know, I just, I feel like you're so fucking disappointed. I feel like you're so disappointed. I feel like you're so freaking disappointed. It's not even funny. I also kind of feel like you're in this overall energy of like, fuck, now I have to start over. Now I have to start over. Temperance to the Hierophant. Remember that. Temperance to the Hierophant. Everything in life happens for a reason. Everything in life happens for a reason. You may not fully understand why you're going through what you're currently going through with this person in particular, but in time, eventually, 
it all makes sense to you, okay? Um, so don't be sad about starting over or anything like that. Um, don't be sad about it because, you know, I feel like God knows exactly what he's doing here, exactly what he's doing. And you may not fully understand that right now, and that's okay, but one day you will. And one day you'll look back at this moment and you'll be glad that things, you know, played out the way that it did, okay? Like I said, you may not feel that way right now, and that's totally understandable considering, you know, what we're looking at here, but one day it'll all make sense to you. One day it'll all make sense to you. It just may not be right now, okay? Um, but I, I kind of feel like this person's kind of feeding you this little damn story. Like, oh no, that's that's my sister and that's my brother. That ain't their damn sister and or brother. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. And you know that because your intuition is telling you, yo, this person's full of shit. This person is full of shit because they are. Because they are. What actions? We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Judgment card. And then we also have the uh, Ten of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Moon. We have the Seven of Swords. And then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. I love the way that you're moving forward. Because at the end of the day... You're listening to your intuition and your intuition is telling you, yo, this person's lying to you right now. Yo, this person's full of shit. Like, that's not their damn sister. That is not their brother. You know, that is the person that more than likely they've been, you know, having possibly an affair with, to be completely honest. But with the Queen of Wands to the Judgment card uh, to the Ten of Pentacles, this is you choosing you at the end of the day. See, you don't really know, you know, what's going to end up happening, you know, with your life from this point on. But all you do know is that you rather be alone than to have this one around you, okay? Lying to you, betraying you and deceiving you, you know? that That's what you do know. That's what you do know. So I do love the fact that you're not falling for this person's lies. I absolutely love it. I also love the fact that, granted, you don't really know what the future has in store and granted, you may not want to start over, but anything's better than keeping someone like this around you, okay? What actions? Yeah, they, they don't know what to do. 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 I feel like they want to fix things with you. I feel like they want to make things right with you, but they don't feel like they can. They don't feel like they can. Why is that? We have the Six of Wands. Yep. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Eight of Cups. And then we have the Page of Wands. You know, I kind of feel like the reason why this person's not really getting anywhere with you um, is because you're deciding to not continue to invest more time and more energy towards this person um, in particular. And whatever it is that this person's saying to you, um, you know, as far as like, oh no, that's my sister. Or no, 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 that's my brother. You're not falling for it. You're not falling for it at all. The truth basically has been revealed to you. The truth has been revealed to you when it comes down to what this person has been doing behind your back. And, well, we can't argue with facts and we can't argue with the truth. Now can we? They're going to try. They're going to definitely try. But, mm, you know, I just, I, I, I kind of feel like this one over here, you know, kind of made their bed. And now they kind of have to lay in it, but they don't want to. That's the problem. They don't want to. They much rather sit here and try to convince you that you're crazy and, you know, you're wrong and blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't feel like you're crazy, nor do I feel like you're wrong. I feel like the fact that you have the high priestess of the king of cups, the ten of swords, or not the ten of swords, the five of swords out here, it says everything. Your intuition is telling you that this person is manipulating you. Your intuition is telling you that this person is full of, you know, what, okay? Uh, your intuition is telling you that they're betraying you and that they're deceiving you and that they're lying to you. And it's because they are. And at the end of the day, this is coming from your intuition. It's not, you know, coming from anything else besides your intuition. Um, and your intuition is always right. Your intuition is not going to sit here and lie to you. I've said this in many uh, readings before. You know, your intuition at the end of the day doesn't really care. 
you know, how much you love this person, how much time you've invested into this person. Your intuition doesn't really care about all of that. Your intuition is here to protect you and guide you. Um, and your intuition might even tell you things that you don't really want to hear. It is what it is. Your intuition is not here to, you know, protect your heart or your feelings. Your, your intuition is here to tell you what the deal is. And unfortunately, you're not going to like it. But that's just, you know, how, you know, intuition is. You know, your intuition is, is going to tell you things that you don't like. And your intuition is going to, um, you know, sometimes tell you things that you do like, right? But in this case, your intuition is telling you something that you don't like. Um, and and that is, is that your, your significant other, you know, they're not being honest with you. They're not being honest with you. What else can you tell me about this person? This person thinks in their brain that if they just remain consistent and persistent and they just keep fighting for you, that eventually you'll just cave in. Eventually you'll just cave in. But from the looks of it, with the Three of Swords to the Temperance card to the Ten of Swords, it's not going to play out that way. It's not going to play out that way. You know, I feel like this is like the divine protecting you from this person. So they can sit here and, um, I don't know, they, they can sit here and, 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 and fight all they want to keep you in their life. It, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. You know, I just kind of feel like the divine's trying to really protect you uh, from this person. You know, you're being divinely guided towards something else. You're being divinely guided towards something else. I keep wanting to say that. And it could very well be a person. It could be a person. But I feel like you're being divinely guided away from this um, and towards something else. Time more about the hair font. Let's see what's clarifying the hair font. You're being divinely guided towards something else. And I feel like it is someone. Someone who's going to appreciate you. Somebody who's going to value you. Somebody who's going to treat you good. Somebody who's not going to sit up here and lie to you like, oh, that's my, that's my sister. Or that's my friend. Or no, it's not. It's not. And your intuition is like, no. This one over here is full of it. You're being, you're being divinely guided towards something 10 times better. So it kind of looks like by you standing your ground and saying, nope, enough is enough. Like, I don't know what the future has in store for me or if I'm ever going to find the love of my life. But all I do know is that I'm not going to sit here and have this one over here lie to my face. That's how you're looking at this entire situation moving forward. As you should, as you should, as you should. This one over here kind of looks like they're being forced to accept something that they don't want to. And I'll tell you this much, it's going to hit this one over here like a ton of bricks. Because I feel like they had the perfect opportunity, the perfect opportunity to go off and establish something long term with you. But, you know, instead, you know, they, they chose to you know, not take you or this relationship with you seriously. And I also kind of feel like this person thought that they were freaking slick on top of that to make matters worse. You know, it is what it is. Um, but they kind of brought this moment upon themselves. And honestly, they don't really have anybody else to blame but themselves. They don't. They're being forced to start over. Regardless if this person likes it or not, regardless if it hits them like a ton of bricks or not, um, it kind of looks like it will, but that's not your problem. You know, that's, that's not your problem. Um, I kind of feel like if you just continue to remain this in this overall energy of putting your foot down, standing your ground, knowing your value and knowing your worth and knowing what you deserve and what you don't deserve, God will eventually bring uh, the perfect person into your life. But it does kind of require you to continue to harness this overall energy of, ah, that's it, I'm done. I am done. I am walking away. I am walking away, you know? Um, and then eventually, you'll stumble across this person um, that you're being divinely guided towards. But like I said, you know, I don't feel like you've met this person just yet. I don't. I'm not going to sit here and say you're going to meet this person tomorrow or anything like that. Um, you might, but I, I highly doubt that you will. Um, but for, you know, for some, yeah, you might. But at the end of the day, you're being divinely guided towards something 10 times better. It may not be in your physical reality right now, but one day it will be. And it's going to be 10 times better than this thing right here. 10 times better than this thing right here. You know, 
You're a queen of swords regardless of your gender. Queen of swords is somebody who's very big on trust. Very big on trust. Trust means absolutely everything to Libras. Absolutely everything to Libras. And the fact that they broke that trust with you. It doesn't look like you want to rebuild trust here. Nor should you you know, rebuild trust here with this person in particular, because I feel like this is something that they've been doing for quite some time. I just kind of feel like they're just so slick with it, uh, that they've gone away with it many, many times, many, many times. Like, I feel like one day you may have came like this close from catching them, uh, but it kind of looks like you're finally catching them. You're finally catching them. And this is just your moment, dude, to get up and, and walk away. Get up and walk away because God's going to bring you something 10 times better. So, you know, there's that classic saying, what is it? Um, not everything you lose is a loss. And this is definitely, you know, not a loss here. It's not a loss. It's their loss, um, but it's definitely not yours. It's definitely not yours. Alrighty, Libra. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.